history talking about ancient history uh, you have to follow the ncrts you can also notes the uh, you can also go through the notes which are provided in the class to you uh, nitin singhania book chapter 1 is to be done very comprehensively for art and culture which is very 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 beneficial it also comes with a pictorial uh, thing so uh, it's also uh, very entertaining to read so it's not a boring exercise however it's a very engaging process because it comes with pictures so you are not only seeing you are not only learning the names of the temples but you are also seeing the uh, pictorial uh, uh, the pictorial representation of the temple so you actually know what is your pith what is uh, the the duar what is the ardh mandapa so you actually can see and relate so make that exercise uh, a learning experience a fun learning experience and i think it should really help you uh talking about the medieval uh history old ncrt is very important for both class 11th and 12th i also uh did new ncrt basic uh more so for uh for the vijayanagar uh part of it so we have seen if you see previous year question papers uh from prelims you will see there are various questions which have been asked from uh the vijayanagar uh, from the vijayanagar part so uh for that that is that i think is missing from the old ncrt so you can always consult new ncrts for that uh talking about modern india it's uh, everyone knows the source here it's it's spectrum so spectrum is a very comprehensive holistic source which you can uh, refer to though i do not promise you questions from there but at least you will understand your history from that so it will really help you in the mains answer writing practice prelims okay there are certain questions which might come out of there but uh, if you have read it and in case the question provide you a scope of elimination this i need to mention if they provide you a scope of elimination you would be able to do